Jon Snow avenged the Red Wedding. He is the White Wolf, the king in the north. Daenerys sits in the Great Pyramid of Meereen, her troops having conquered the city after the men she sent into the sewers had opened the gates. She meets an envoy from Astapor, who represent King Cleon the Great, a former butcher who now rules Astapor supposedly in Daenerys's name. But the envoy suggests that King Cleon wishes to marry Daenerys, and that the men she left to rule Astapor have all been deposed. Cleon has amassed new slaves and is beginning to train them as unsullied, and Daenerys is dismayed that all she has done to free Astapor of slavery is coming undone. Finally, she sends for Ser Jorah and Ser Barristan, wishing the two had died in the sewers, but the two knights are greater warriors than even that suicide quest. Barristan speaks of things Daenerys was never aware of, that her father was mad, and that Viserys, even as a young boy, seemed to be more like his father than his brother Rhaegar. She then absolves Barristan, and he swears his sword to her cause. But Ser Jorah does not beg forgiveness, and remains defensive, insisting that he has done nothing wrong. Daenerys exiles the knight, who was once her closest friend and protector, threatening to kill him if she ever sees him again. Later, Dario warns her that she should not have banished Jorah, and that she may come to regret not keeping him near or having him killed outright. When her advisers urge her to move on, Daenerys decides that she must learn to rule if she ever wishes to sit the throne of Westeros and she declares that she will stay in Marine and rule as queen. The Iron Throne is mine by right. 